good evening because it's really late now it's 11 o'clock right um, we will be learning today about the chord D major that's the illustration there and then that's the tab and then we will be learning a strumming a strumming pattern in the time signature of four fourths and we've already learned about A and E so that's gonna be our chords pattern D A E A we'll talk more about that in a short while right let's start first uh, to demonstrate the D major so it's like this open D so that's the fourth string open fourth string then second fret third string then you got third fret second string and then second fret first string you can also play it like this you press all uh, three strings like that and then press the um, second string on the third fret it will be the same okay but the good thing with this one with the bar is that you can release it creates another sound okay now as a recap previously we've learned about D minor and then I said that there's a reason for that one if you can see D major is like this and this one move backwards and then you retain those two here okay so that's why it's D minor D major D minor uh, I'll explain more uh, especially with the sharps and flat so flat goes to the headstock where this one the tuning pegs or tuners and then sharp goes here to the bridge so uh, the other way of explaining the D major to D minor is what you call flattened third so if you remember the music alphabet which is A B C D or the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 your D here would be your 1 your next note is E which is 2 your next note is F sharp which is 3 so 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 when you say flattened third so this is your third it goes back half step so it's the same here it goes back flattened third so your third which is F sharp goes back half step so it's flattened third once you move backwards it's called flat you move forward it's a sharp so this is a an F note if you move forward it becomes F sharp G G sharp so G if you go back half step that's gonna be G flat which is the same with your F sharp it depends on how you're moving so you perceive it when you move forward here to the bridge here is a sharp then moving backwards to the tuning pegs or the headstock is a sh is a flat right back to D again so D we will learn the strumming this is the strumming that I wanted to share it's my generic uh, strumming if I'm not familiar with the song I just do this strumming which is down down up up down so down down up up down okay so down down up up down down, down, up, 
down this thing was on, uh, on here okay right we're gonna be doing the course pattern D A E A I hope you still remember the chords this is A and this is E isn't it so if we do the, the course pattern D going to A going to E and back to A uh, it's a bit tricky because all the shapes are different this is your D this is your A and this is your E remember th these shapes we'll talk about shapes um, in the future so we'll concentrate concentrate first on learning D as well as the strumming and how to change chords so it's down down up up down 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 up up down 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 up up down again okay one more really slow down down up up down 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 up up down 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 up up down and last down down up up down right if you want to hear it the actual strumming that's the slow version the actual the actual tempo would be like this down down up up down down up, up down okay practice that one learn the shapes be uh, accurate when you're changing chords make sure that all the strings are working properly and see you next time bye for now